What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious, or Cap for short, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Alright, so this is an automatic sea pickle farm. You'll notice that there are no uh, sea pickles in the barrel. Okay, we flick the switch, we let it work its magic, and you'll notice the sea pickles will just start going away, going to work in there, okay? And then you just turn it off. That, the light indicates that the lock is on. And what do we get? 29, all right, so we got 29 sea pickles in a short period of time, okay? You are going to need um, some bone meal in there. I didn't include that in the uh, materials, but yeah, just keep that in mind, okay? So let's just get into what you need and how to build it. Here is everything you're going to need. Either pause it or take a screenshot. Uh, keep in mind, you can use whatever kind of blocks you want for the building blocks. These are junk blocks. You're not gonna use all the dirt at all. I just have it. I, do, I always just hit the Y button to get a full stack, but you're not gonna need much of it at all. Uh, you are going to need two mine carts with hoppers. The four rails you are gonna be getting back, so just keep that in mind. You, you'll, you can even use two if you want, and then you'll just get it back and use it again. Uh, you can use any of the coral blocks you want. I happen to really like the fire coral. And for building blocks, like the stone bricks, the stairs, uh, the stone brick slab, again, even the lime terracotta, you can use any blocks you want. It's really just the redstone and stuff. It has to be in a certain order. Okay, but I always get asked that question. So we're gonna start by putting a regular stair like this. We're gonna go behind it with our junk blocks. And we're gonna put another one like that upside down. We're gonna go over three. So we're gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna put stairs there. Basically the exact same thing. And stairs there like that. Then we're gonna go behind it. We're gonna put stair there and stairs there. Uh, right now, just take your two water buckets and just make yourself a little infinite water source. Okay, because you are going to need multiple, um, you are going to need multiple buckets of water. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to place our barrel right in the front here, just like so. I like to face it up. We can put a stone brick there, stone brick there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to dig two down, okay, right behind the barrel. And we're going to take our observer, face one this way. Nope, you want to make sure it faces like that. Okay, then break another two down and face it like that you'll know you did it right if the arrows are facing opposite each other so one arrow is going to be going towards the block where the barrel is the other one's going to be going that way okay now we're going to put an observer there just like that and then we're going to put a block on top of it just like that okay then we're going to go break this block right here and we're going to put an observer there break this one an observer there oops there okay so the arrows face like that and then again, we're gonna put another observer up, like so, okay? We don't wanna put anything on these blocks right now because otherwise it's just gonna be really, really annoying. It's just gonna keep going off. Okay, but we're gonna break this block and this block because now we're gonna put our hoppers down. So crouch, place a hopper inside uh, to the back of the, of the barrel, put another hopper into that hopper, put another hopper into that hopper and make sure you're crouching as you place it, okay? Now we can take our uh, spruce trap doors. We're going to place one there, lift it up, one there, lift it up, and then crouch on the barrel, place it, and lift it up. Perfect. Okay, we're going to come behind here. We're going to put one in this corner, one in this corner for solid bricks, because now what we're going to do is we're actually going to put our water there and there, just like so. Okay, so that way we can put one fire coral block there, or whatever coral block you want there, and one there. Perfect. Actually, I uh, forgot one thing. We do, you do want to break these. I apologize because what we're going to do is take your junk block. And now we're actually going to put down our um, our chests. Our, our, I'm sorry, our hopper mine carts. So go rail, rail there and there. Go rail there and there. Take your hopper mine cart. Put it, put it, push it, I should say. And just like so. And now you can, again, like I said, you can pick up your, um, you can pick up your, uh, rails. Uh, for now, just place dirt there because we're going to be moving these carts possibly. Let's see. Can we actually place, if you can place down your, your spruce trap doors, you're fine. No, you can't. So we just have to wiggle it a little bit. There we go. Place it and place it. Perfect. Okay. So now we got everything back. Now we can actually get rid of that. We don't need that right this second. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to build up. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go like this, like this. Okay, we're going to take our stone brick stairs again, and we're, on this corner, we're going to come in this way. We're going to come in this way. We're going to go straight across. Okay, we're going to go again 
this way, and this way. Right in the middle here is where our light is gonna go. So we can go ahead and put our light down, right, our lamp down right there. Okay, and then for the topper, we're just gonna go ahead and put a little slab right on top. Perfect, now we can go ahead and we can take our lever. We can put our lever there and turn it on because we wanna lock this thing as soon as possible. And we're gonna go here and here. So you'll notice it's underneath where the lamp is. Okay, now we're gonna take our redstone and we're gonna go boom, boom, just like that. And now we can go ahead and we can put our stuff down. So let's go ahead and put our piston. So one there and one there. They're going off for a second because we haven't put down our dispenser yet. And why is it not going? Oh, I'm sorry. You got to get rid of this. It's got to go like that. There we go. So no block there. Now, why is that locking it? Because obviously the redstone is on top of the dispenser, which is a whole block. So it activates the two blocks next to it because it's powered. Okay. And we want it off. That's exactly how we want it. Okay. Now we're going to take our glass. We're going to put one here and here, and then we're going to go back and get ourselves a spruce trap door and put it right like that. Now we can take our water again. You have yourself a uh, in infinite water source. And we're going to put one on the left side here and on the right side here. Oops, did it go through? Aha, uh -huh. put it in the wrong spot, sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break this really quick. Okay. There we go. And now I can go ahead and I can put that back. So take my piston and put it right, nope, that's not where I want it, right there. Okay, and again, the water, you wanna put the water on top of the red block like that. Perfect. Now we can come in here, we can put our final fire coral block down, okay? And then we can go ahead and put our sea pickle down and make sure you fill the this dispenser with a bone meal whenever you wanna use it. So if you're not interested in the rest of it, uh, this farm is done. The only thing I would suggest you do is just throw a sea pickle light like that. And now you're done. Okay, you are completely, uh, you're completely done. But for everybody else, let's go ahead and we'll, we'll start decorating. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, lime terracotta. So we're not going to do this one. We're going to go the one behind it. We're going to go one, two, three. Go over, go up, go over, go up, go over, go up. Same on this side, so the second one back. One, two, three. Go over, up, over, up. Just like so. Okay, now we're gonna take our stone brick and we're gonna do the same thing to the outside. I just wanted to see where the, I think it starts on the fourth one, right? Yeah, perfect, okay. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go um, in front of it. We're gonna go one, two, three. And then you can actually, let's get some junk blocks going. We're gonna put down a junk block, go stone brick, junk block, stone brick, junk block, stone brick, and junk block, stone brick. Okay, because what we're gonna end up doing is actually putting stairs there. So we can take our stairs right here, and we can go one, two, three, four. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna go one, two, three, uh, get that junk block, which I keep forgetting to keep. So we'll junk block this way, junk block this way, junk block this way, okay? And then break all of those pieces of dirt like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to take, here it is, our last stone brick slab, put it just like so, and then go here and here with the stairs, and then come across with the lime terracotta. Okay, but we're not done yet. If you're building this into a side of a wall or something, you're done. All right, so going behind it, what we're gonna do is you're gonna actually double this row. So just do everything we did here, but do it twice. Okay, and then we're simply just gonna come inside with it and we're just gonna make it uh, one smaller, like that. Okay, and then you can actually bring everything else down like this. Perfect. Just in case you wanna build it outside somewhere, okay? So that's it. That is the entire farm completed. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think it looks pretty good. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.